What a mess of a week for Troika Media. <coughs> Hi again everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. Troika Media Group, ticker symbol TRKA, has had a rough week on the stock market to say the least, with a 55% fall in the stock price over the past five trading days, which was headlined by a further 25% drop in the share price on Friday alone, is leaving investors and short sellers scrambling to make sense of the whole situation. For those unfamiliar with the term, short selling involves betting against the stock. Essentially, a short seller borrows shares of a company and sells them on the open market, hoping to buy them back at a lower price and pocket the difference. Short selling is a risky strategy as the price of a stock can rise unexpectedly and leave short sellers with significant losses when it comes to acting to pay borrow fees. Um, in the case of Troika Media, short sellers have been hoping to profit from the company's recent struggles. Troika is a digital marketing company that specializes in video content creation and distribution. The company had been experiencing some financial difficulties in recent months, uh, which may have made it an attractive target for short sellers. However, things took a turn for the worst last week with Troika stock plummeting in value. Uh, the company announced on Thursday that it would be delaying the whole of its fourth quarter earnings, reporting citing accounting issues. Well, however, they did provide some of their financial results, which the market did not take too kindly to. This news sent shockwaves through the market with investors and short sellers alike dumping Troika stock en masse. Uh, the delayed earnings report is particularly concerning because it could indicate deeper financial problems at the company. Troika has struggled in recent months to secure new clients and generate revenue, and this delay only adds to the uncertainty surrounding the company's future prospects. It is worth noting that short sellers have been known to exacerbate stock price drops in the past. When short sellers sell shares of a company en masse, it can create a self-fulfilling prophecy of sorts. Um, as more and more short sellers sell shares, the price of the stock drops, which attracts even more short sellers looking to profit from the decline. However, it's also worth noting that short sellers can expose weaknesses in a company. Um, by betting against a stock, short sellers are essentially betting that the company is overvalued or has a significant problem that are not being reflected in the stock price. If a company is truly struggling, short sellers can help to bring these issues to light and encourage the company to make necessary changes to improve its financial situation. So in the case of Troika Media, it remains to be seen whether this recent drop in share price is due to short selling or genuine financial concerns. Regardless of the cause, however, it's clear that the company is facing significant challenges. Investors and short sellers alike will be watching closely to see how Troika responds to these challenges in the coming weeks and months. In the case of Troika Media, the drop in price may have been caused by a number of factors, including a lack of investor confidence in the company's financials, as well as the broader concerns about the stock market as a whole. But it's important to remember that Troika Media is a relatively small company and its stock price can be highly volatile as a consequence. So for investors who are considering buying Troika Media stock, it's important to do your research and carefully consider the risks involved. While the company has experienced significant growth in recent years, there are also concerns about its financials and its ability to sustain the growth over the long term. Um, in conclusion, the past week has been a challenging one to say the least for Troika Media, with a significant drop in the stock price and concerns about the company's financials. For short sellers, the situation is complex and it's important to carefully consider the risks involved in shorting the stock. For investors, it's important to do your research and consider the risks involved before buying or selling Troika Media stock. As always, the stock market can be unpredictable and it's important to approach it with caution and long-term perspective. Anyway, I'd love to hear what you guys all think is happening with Troika Media in the comments below. Are we kind of near the bottom of how far the short's going to drive it down to or are you expecting to see a bit of a rebound anytime soon? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, everyone, may the market's trade in your favour. Cheers.